We'll get started with our friends and family test webinar now. So thank you all very much for joining us today. Um, my name's Nikita and I'm an implementation specialist at Acurex. I've also got a few of my colleagues um, on here as well, just to answer questions that pop up in the chat. But in today's webinar, we're going to be focusing on using our appointment reminders feature to actually gather friends and family test data from your patients. Just a bit of general housekeeping before we get started. So like I said, we will have time for any questions just after our demo. Please use the upvote function in the Q&A bit in Zoom to upvote any questions that you want to prioritize. So we do want to get through as many questions as we can, but um, we are a little bit limited to time. So please just make sure you use the upvote function. And this webinar is also recorded and we can send it out to you after the session and then also post on our YouTube channel soon. Just before we get started, I just wanted to go over some upcoming uh, feature releases that we've got. So we've actually got um, batch messaging response here, and this is actually a custom Flory builder. So although we're focusing on appointment reminders today, with appointment reminders, you do also get batch messaging. So I just wanted to cover what's coming soon. So this is just the first stepping stone in building a full bone um, custom Flory builder. Practices will be able to set up their own questions um, and be used for batch messaging response in the first instance. You'll be able to gather some simple responses from patients. So that might be a couple of multiple choice questions, or it could be the patient choosing from coded responses. And then we've also got um, our product team working on batch messaging schedule and stagger. So you'd be able to get a larger patient list, be able to set up the batch message that goes out to them, or maybe the batch flurry. You'd be able to schedule that to be sent at a later date or time. Or you'd be able to also stagger that to go out across as many days um, as you want. What I'm going to do now is just actually go over to my clinical system and we can start with the friends and family test demo. I am using EMIS as a clinical system loaded in the background, but actually it doesn't matter if you're using EMIS, Vision or System 1, everything's going to work in exactly the same way. When you are actually setting up the appointment reminders, friends and family test, the first thing that you want to do is actually create your friends and family test survey. So what I've done is I've just gone to Google and I've created a friends and family test Google form. If you don't want to use Google and you want to use SurveyMonkey, you can do that. I'll also show you where we've got a resource article on how to create your um, friends and family test survey. So I've given this a title. I've also put out my question and then a couple of follow up questions here. And then what I want to do is actually copy the link to this survey. And then we're going to put this link into the friends and family test um, reminder. So to do this, I'm just going to send. I'm then going to this icon here that says link. And then I'm pressing a button here that says shorten URL. You want to make sure that you shorten the URL if possible. This just means that you're sending out less SMS fragments. <clears throat> so now that we've got our friends and family test survey created here, what we're going to do is actually go over to appointment reminders and we're going to add this link into the test. So what I'm going to do is just go to my Accurex toolbar and I'm going to press my initials here, which is just on the right of my toolbar. I'm then going to go to manage organization. This might say manage practice for you. It's exactly the same thing. So click that. Then you want to scroll down to Accurex desktop. And when you get to Accurex desktop, you'll see appointment reminders. The way that you set up our friends and family test function is actually by setting up an appointment reminder. So I'll just go through that flow with you and then you'll be able to see where we can enter in our friends and family test link. Appointment reminders work by scraping your appointment book. It will then look for the slot types and then you can set up reminders or friends and family test um, messages for each of these slot types. 
what I'm going to do is just press set up a new reminder to just show you how this works. If your practice actually has more than one locations, you can choose both of those locations. You can just choose one of those. That's completely up to you. You then want to choose a slot type that the reminder and friends and family test is going to go to. So you can see here on my list, some of these options are actually greyed out and I'm not able to select them. Whereas some of them I am able to select. If you can see an option that is greyed out, that just means a reminder has already been set up for that slot type. So I'm just going to select a few of my slot types here. And what I'm going to start off by doing is actually sending the patient an appointment reminder. When you send the patient an appointment reminder, the text that gets sent to them will say, dear, and then it'll pull through their name. This is a reminder of your appointment, which is booked in for, and then it'll pull through the date, the time, and then the location. If you need to cancel, please follow this link. A link will actually be automatically generated into the text message, and then it will say thanks and have your practice name. If you did want to customize this appointment reminder, you can just customize this in the free text box here. Appointment remi reminders are actually sent to patients exactly 24 hours before their scheduled appointment. You can also choose to send this to a patient a week before their appointment too. And then this is the part of the reminder that I just wanted to highlight. And this is actually what's new. If you have access to batch messaging and appointment reminders, you'll also see the post appointment message. This is actually where you want to enter in your friends and family test survey link. And this would actually be sent out to patients 24 hours after their appointment. So what I'm going to do is where it says send post appointment message, I'm going to toggle this to on. Then we can see a message here that just says, dear patient, and it says, thanks, IQX practice. What we need to do is actually enter in the message and also the link to our friends and family test. I'm just going to put a message to say, um, please give us some uh, feedback on your appointment yesterday. And then I'm just going to say using this link and then I'm going to paste in the link for the form that I created at the beginning. Once you press set reminder live, I'm just going to scroll down to that reminder that we set up. This is what we can see here. So not only have we set up the post appointment friends and family test to go out to the patient, but we've also set up a appointment reminder to be sent out to the patient. 24 hours before their scheduled appointment and also a week before. As I briefly touched on, in the bulk of the message of the appointment reminder, the patient can actually cancel their appointment. So the way this works is they can follow a link which will be sent to them via SMS. And they'll be able to cancel their appointment. That appointment will be automatically cancelled from your clinical system. So there's actually no need to monitor a cancellation inbox. We do keep a list of all those patients that have cancelled their appointments, and that is just found here underneath the cancellations tab. So here you'll find a list of the NHS number, name, and the scheduled appointment date and time for that appointment that was cancelled. And then we also do keep the delivery receipts here too. You can actually filter down this list to see any messages that fail to send, any that were sent and any that were delivered. So you can see that list here. So that is how you set up a friends and family test using appointment reminders. You just follow the flow of setting up a normal appointment reminder, choose your slot types, customize your friends and family test message, and then paste it in the link of your survey. Using IQX for friends and family tests means that you're completely in control of your data. So when you do start receiving responses from patients, this will go into your Google form or your SurveyMonkey form, wherever you created it, and it will come into the responses tab here. 